Hello everybody, my name is Virtual Rook, and today we're going to be doing a very special unboxing. If you've been following the channel for a long time, or follow me on social media, you might know exactly what we're unboxing today. And if you don't follow me on social media, or here, maybe, you know, go hit the subscribe button whenever, whenever you decide if it's worth it, because obviously you want to see what I'm going to review first. But enough dilly-dallying, let's get started. First thing I noticed, the box it was shipped in, real small. Love it. It is so tiny, even from the get-go. Let's begin the operation, shall we? Oh yeah. Uh, let me also start by saying that I am not sponsored by HTC. I would love to be, so HTC, if you're watching, hit me up. We can, I would love to try out your new trackers. They're very nice. They're probably very nice. I trust you guys. And uh, yeah, I'm not sponsored by them at all. I bought this with my own money at the pre-order and I've just been very excited and I hope that you're excited too. I want to get you excited. Let's get excited together. I assume there's another box in here. I would be correct. Upside down, method. There we go. And we're free. Okay, well the box is beautiful. Nothing on the sides. We get the Vive logo on the top. On the bottom we have Again, their dedication to making this as eco-friendly as possible. Okay, we got a little tab. All right. We open to a very nice, sleek, again, paper design. Lots of little, little packages and holes. I've actually watched people do this unboxing. And I want you to just, I want you to take a look at this, okay? We have chamber one, chamber two, and chamber three. Which chamber do you think the headset is in? I'll give you a second. Chamber two is going to be where the headset is located. I'm about 100% sure. <laughs> so I'm going to, I think I'm gonna open that one first because I'm just, I'm really excited about this. And I want to actually feel in my hands how small this headset is. Oh, there's, they, they even, there's wires or something inside of this. I'm not entirely sure what it is that I'm feeling, but there's a heft to the, the cover. We'll put that off to the side. And here's the headset. Oh my God, that's a VR headset. This is a VR headset. <sighs> Comes in a very nice bag. It's, it's very soft. I don't know if I'll ever use, the, well, no, I'll use the bag again because I'm gonna be traveling. That'll actually be very nice. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at this. Here, let's just, this is a VR headset. Not just a VR headset, this is an extremely powerful standalone VR headset and it's so much smaller than I could have even possibly fathomed. It folds out like glasses. Right now it's in the glasses mode. You can take off the back headrest pieces um, leaving, you can do it to both sides. I'm only going to do it for one because we're, we're still unboxing, but you can take off the backs to add a battery pack. But in this format, I'll put the exact number below, but it's something like 120 ounces. Think less than a loaf of bread in weight. From the back, we can see, I'm not sure how I feel about this fabric cover. I am hoping, wow, another company comes out with their own uh, and they're magnetized, which is nice. But I'm hoping that we get a different cover for this because I don't know how well this is gonna hold up. Uh, starting with the front, we have two cameras for positional tracking. We have one camera for uh, color pass-through. We have one more sensor then up at the top, right above that camera, that is a depth sensor. So it just uses like a dot matrix, I believe, and then uses that data to reconstruct your surroundings. It's very, very cool. And that's also, I believe, helping with the tracking, but I'm not sure on that one. We also have a camera on either side for tracking of your hands and your controllers that this is using the Qualcomm Snapdragon Gen 2. Some of the bigger VR nerds out there might know that the Quest Pro is using the Gen 2 Plus. And you might be thinking, well, this headset's now the same price as the Quest Pro. So why aren't they using the Gen 2 Plus in this? And the answer is that the only real difference between the Gen 2 and the Gen 2 Plus of the Snapdragon processor is the way that they handle heat distribution. So if you're able to actually mitigate the heat well enough, you can push this. And that is because you'll notice that there's a very large gap up at the top of the headset. 
And if you look inside, you can see radiator fins, similar to what you would have on your processor in your computer. I believe there's also a fan, so it's really pulling that heat away very intelligently. It's small. Let me get you an example real quick of just how small this is. Anybody who's followed my channel for a long time might know that my daily driver is an index. And holy crap, just picking this up in comparison to that already is hilarious to me. This weighs so much in comparison. That's like nothing in comparison to this. But here's the valve index. Here's the XR Elite. Look at that difference. That's insane. For a headset that has a higher resolution, I've heard mixed reviews on this, but supposedly a uh, similar field of view. So, you know, whether or not you can see the edges. I'm doubting that strongly. I'm pretty sure that this is going to have a much smaller field of view, but the, the actual resolution of the screen, this wins, it's much higher. And this weighs nothing at all. This feels like I'm going to the gym. The fact that I have actually tried to work out in this headset while holding this and knowing how much lighter this feels is mind boggling to me. I might've actually turned it on. There's so much more to talk about with that headset. We'll get back to it. Let's continue on. So now this was the package that was on top of the headset itself. I'm guessing probably user manuals. I would be correct. Uh, we also got the head strap. So whenever you do have the battery on, if you're starting to feel neck fatigue, which should take much longer than usual, or if you just like the, the security of having that, that head overhead strap, uh, it does come with one. It also comes with a USB-C to USB type C cable charger. I don't see a power brick, so you are going to have to have either an adapter to get to US, regular USB, or you're going to have to have a USB type C uh, charging brick, which sometimes are a little hard to come by. That actually sort of surprises me. And uh, let's move on to what's next in the mystery box. I'm going to vote, we go, uh, we'll go a long boy, but I, okay, so interesting. They, so the long boy has the battery pack in it, which you will be, you know, using on the go whenever you don't have this plugged into your phone, a external battery pack on your hip or whatever, uh, or if you have it plugged into your computer, you'll, you'll have it in this setup for those uh, layouts. Uh, but if you want this to be completely standalone, have its own charging, whatever, you're going to be using the battery pack that is inside of this container. And it gives you instructions on how to attach it to the headset right here, which I do like that it's printed right on the packaging. Comically probably weighs more than the headset. Uh, let's get the paper off of it. Ooh, there's peelies. Oh yeah, are we getting that on both cameras? Oh. Glorious. It's very simple. Well, <laughs> visually it's very simple. What this does is, is really impressive. It's, again, a very high powered battery pack in a very small form factor for, you know, two hours of battery life on a very high resolution standalone headset. Again, I believe. So we're gonna, we'll just put this over here. Actually, you know what, since we're on the battery, let's, let's go ahead and actually show that setup. So again, we're gonna take the headset we are going to pull the little tabby bits off. It's not very hard. I don't know why I made that face. You just press in and it pops off. And then, now every time I've watched people online do this, it looks kind of, halfway through it looks like you're about to break it. And I don't know how I feel about that. So we're gonna see if it feels that way whenever you do it at home. Okay, so that side's locked in. So can I do this without making it feel like I'm about to break it? Oh, it's it's definitely, you gotta kind of pull it uncomfortably far, if that makes sense. These are really, really strong plastic parts. Um, there, there isn't a lot of metal built into this, but yeah, and then you just, shaboom. And there you go, the battery pack's on. I think it might have also powered it up. I'm gonna put it on. I'm sorry, I can't resist any longer. Ooh, okay, there is a fan in this for sure because I can actually feel the air going across my eyes, which is kind of nice. Is that weird to say? It kind of feels good. Oh, wow. I cannot get over how crisp words are in this, though. 
Very easy process to get this on and off. Highly appreciate that. There it is with the battery pack on. A little bit awkward looking, I'm not going to lie, but wow. Words look really crisp in it. I, I shouldn't have put it on, now I don't want to stop. But yeah, very easy to get it from the like stand or uh, you know external connection mode to standalone battery pack mode. Love that. You are going to have to install an app. It starts you on a black screen with white text, and there is no ghosting. Which if you if you've used the index or any headsets like that before pancake lenses. Uh, was just something we dealt with, you know? Every time that you were looking in a pure black scene with white text, you would have the like ghosting, like God rays coming off in every direction. Gone. We have one more chamber to go. We brought back our glorious box. It has gone through a lot already. Section one from our original numbering scheme. I don't know why I numbered it that way. I should have numbered it well, because I was trying to throw you guys off. So, you know, I'll accept it. Shock and surprise, it has the controllers in it. Woo! I don't know why I'm taking these other things. I just felt like I had to. They're, I don't know. They're USB type C cables. They're relatively, they're actually a good length. I've, I've gotten VR equipment in the past where like it, the USB C chargers were so small. Like the cable length was so small. It's like, what do you expect me to do with this? Like, where do you, you don't think that I'm like plugging this into a wall wart and then charging it from there? I don't understand. Okay, so. Pretty standard. It looks a lot like the Quest ones. You know, now that I'm looking at these, oh, that doesn't feel great either. Sorry, but it doesn't. I wonder if these have finger, I actually don't know if these have like finger tracking, even like the basic one, like whenever you have your finger over top of the joystick, I wonder if it has um, the distance tracking for that. But in case you were curious about a size comparison, Again, these are the XR Elite controllers side by side with a Quest Gen 1, Quest Gen 1, not a Quest 2 uh, controller, which they are, they are a lot bigger. I'm wondering if the sheer size of this one is mostly for the battery that they have built in because these were running off of what? One AA. Yeah. So that might all just be battery. I'm not entirely sure. I would have to check. But again, for somebody like me, where I, I have relatively large hands, that actually feels really nice. I, I like that there's a lot of, there's a lot to hold on to. Some of the times using the Quest, like you feel like it's gonna slip right out of your hands because the, the controllers were just so small, but these feel very nice. Well, thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope that this was informative. I hope that this has gotten you excited about the XR Elite because I'm thrilled, obviously, if you couldn't tell. And I'm going to go put this on my face. If you've made it this far in this video, I hope that you're excited about the XR Elite. I hope that you let me know down in the comments if you're excited in the XR Elite and if you're planning on getting one. And if you don't mind, please maybe hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be covering all kinds of VR content in the future. And I would like for you to be on that journey with me. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Virtual Rook, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.